Good morning. We're here at the corner of Drake and West and do another fabulous day. So let's go ahead and begin. This week we're doing bell work. Okay, you should have got the definitions yesterday. Now you're working on must-haves for the words. So what must you have for these words? Some of these are pretty simple. Uh, Genghis and Kubla Khan are pretty much the same thing. They are leaders, okay? Mongolian leaders, uh, vicious, you could almost say dictators too. They killed a ton of people, so that would be a must-have on those. Empire, what must you have to be an empire? And then military tactics, what must you have to be in military tactics? What must you have to make sure the military tactics uh, are successful, like maybe soldiers, weapons, things of that nature. All right, so make sure you get that stuff done, taken care of. Now we're going to work on what we're going to be doing the rest of the week. It's called How to Stop the Mongols. So I have a rubric right here, kind of going to where I'm going to grade. But the big thing you need here is the PowerPoint, which is How to Stop the Mongols right here. So if you click on it, you're going to see everything I want in this PowerPoint. Now, if you get to this PowerPoint and you feel like you're running out of room, just create a new slide. I've had a lot of kids in the past keep writing, and then the ta like the table or wherever you write on this thing just keeps sliding off to the point where I miss like half of your paragraph. So if you just run into that problem, just get a new slide. So first one, how to solve the Mongols, your name. Then kind of goes over each slide on what I want you to do. You do see the multiple pictures. Okay, so you do need multiple pictures. Make sure it's easy for me to read. Uh, here's a slide instruction. So the first slide, five positives. It's almost like we just did something yesterday where we talked about the positives of the Mongols. The next slide, five negatives, kind of like I just said there. Uh, the next one, three weapons of the Mongols. Okay, using the websites I'm going to give you, you're going to find three weapons. Now, one weapon they use is not an actual, like, weapon you think of, not like a sword or something of that. But I kind of, you look at the website, you should be able to find them. I want an image of all the three weapons you use with a short little brief description of going over what they are. The next one, three fighting tactics. What are the methods that the Mongols used to conquer? All right, there is a website that I'll show you that kind of goes over all that stuff. So just give me a brief description. What is the name of the tactic, how they use it? And then the last one, a slide detailing your plan. Now, if you scroll down, you see what I'm looking for in this plan. You have a maximum of 250,000 soldiers. Can you use them all? Yes. Do you have to? No, you can use five. It's up to you. But they need to be either archers, spearmen, cavalry, or foot soldiers. It's up to you how many of each, what you want to do. Just kind of answer the questions as you fill out your battle plan. Are you attacking or are you defending? Where are you defending? Where are you attacking? Is it a castle? Is it an open field? Is it woods? Do you think archers would do really well in wooded area? Think about that stuff when you're attacking. Make sure you have detail of your terrain. All right, so is it wet? Is it long grass? Are you in mountains or are you in a desert? Then I want you to talk about how many days are you going to battle. Most battles back in the day took months, okay? They, they were long-lasting. There was literally a war in Europe that lasted a 100 years. So some of these take longer periods of time, so you might want to be thinking this is a multiple-day battle. If it is a multiple-day battle, how are you getting supplies? So if you're bringing the attack to them, how are you going to bring your troops food? What's going to happen with that kind of stuff? Then I want you to talk about how are you going to use your soldiers? Are you going to do a frontal assault, counterattack, sneak attacks? How are you going to do it? Are you just going to line them up in one big line and just go charge? Okay, things of that nature. Okay, how are you going to use your soldiers correctly? Are you going to put your archers at front and your cavalry behind and then have the cavalry charge running over your archers? And you laugh, but I've had a student write that. So think about where you're putting the people so that you know how to attack. In the past, I've had people actually draw their battle plans. They've gone to paint or word document and they've actually drawn it. You can actually go to Google and do like an aerial view of like the Mongol area and then use that to draw where you're going to have your troops. Do you have to? No, you can just write it out. But I've had kids do that in the past. Then I want you also knowing how they're going to attack. How would you counter their counters? Okay, you know how they're going to attack. That's one of your slides. So how are you going to maneuver around those so you don't fall for it? And lastly, no futuristic weapons, no allies. Thanos is not coming and snapping them away. You're not going to be using a nuke. John Wick's not coming. You're not having the force, no Death Stars. Okay? So think about that. No futuristic weapons, no guns. All right? Then below you see I have websites. If you click on them, you should be able to find pretty much all the stuff that you need. I didn't give you a website if I couldn't find something there. This one, favorite battle tactics. Look, they give you two of them right there for you. This one I think gives you... Uh, more tactics. You do not have to donate to them. Okay, State of War kind of gives you, you know, the details about them. All right, so as you read here. Now, some of the stuff is not going to be just blatant. Here are the three military stuff that you need for Mr. Voth's class. They won't have that on the website, amazingly, but you will have to look down and read. 
Um, some of it is pretty easy to find. Some of them, they do kind of give you a link to like their tactics or their plans and stuff like that. So you can find it that way, but you will need to read a little bit about what the tactics were or what the weapons they did use. Okay, so make sure you're using that. Uh, make sure you're using the weapons you find. You can use Google, but I give you pretty much all the stuff you need. I have three websites and two or three uh, YouTube clips over the Mongol Empire. So you have um, for your visual learners if you want to use it that way. Okay, so it's up to you on which website you want to use, but use my websites. Don't go to Google. Uh, no copying and pasting. If you just copy and paste it over, you will lose points. All right, so write them in your own words for me, please. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, this is what we're going to be working on this whole week. So what I recommend doing is trying to do the first couple slides today, doing the next couple slides, and then finishing it up there. Okay, it's going to so you're not working all at once. Don't think of you have to do it all today. This is due Thursday. So you have plenty of time to work on it. Get some of them done. Um, can you use the impact of the Mongols which we worked on yesterday for the first two? Yeah, absolutely. That's why we did it. All right. If you have any questions, you can always give me a ring on email, Teams, okay, whatever you want. It's up to you. Have a good one.